nephrolithiasis nephro means kidney lithiasis means stones so it is kidney stones history present with acute onset of severe colicky flank pain that may radiate to to the testes vulva and is associated with nausea and vomiting patients are unable to get comfortable and shift position frequently as opposed to those with peritonitis who lie still so patient with peritonitis who lie still and patient who are having nephrolithiasis they shift position frequently so what is the diagnosis of nephrolithiasis urine analysis may show gross or microscopic hematuria blood in urine and an altered urine ph non contrast abdominal ct scan is the gold standard for the diagnosis of kidney stones this is very important always remember non contrast abdominal ct scan however plain axr as are still useful for the following progression treatment of larger stones ultrasound is preferred for pregnant patients so ultrasound is for is uh, for pregnant patients and children in whom radiation from ct should be avoided kidney ureter bladder radiography identifies radio opaque stones but will often miss stones that are radio lucent so think about what i remember is u u is for uric acid so radio lucent will be uric acid except other kidney stones other types of kidney stones so ivp pyelogram is rarely used so here is the stone nephrolithiasis ct scan shows a dense 1 cm calcification this is the calcification of 1 cm arrow head which shows in the left this is the right side because it's the liver and here is the left side so it's a left ureter consistent with nephrolithiasis so what was the ct scan it was the non contrast abdominal ct scan types of kidney stones there are four types of kidney stones calcium oxalate calcium phosphate struvite uric acid and cysteine so first i'm going to talk about calcium oxalate calcium phosphate it is 83% frequency the most common cause are idiopathic hypercalciuria and primary hyperparathyroidism so urine will be alkaline and it is a radio opaque so the treatment will be hydration dietary sodium protein restriction thiazide diuretics remember thiazide diuretics do not decrease calcium intake because can lead to hyperoxaluria and increase risk of osteoporosis in females most commonly struvite or uh, triple phosphate its an frequency will be 9% associated with urease for producing organism like protease form staghorn calculi alkaline urine same as compared to calcium oxalate alkaline urine alkaline urine so it is also radio opaque so the main treatment is hydration treat ur urinary tract infection if present surgical removal of staghorn stones uric acid will be 7% associated with gout xanthine oxidase deficiency and high purine done over states like chemotherapy so here the urine will be acidic ph is less than 5.5 or now u for uric acid and u for radiolucent on plain film but detectable with ct it is not detectable by as we studied before here here radiography identifies radio opaque stone but will not often miss stones that are radio lucent so here you need to remember on radio lucent on plain film but detectable 
with CT. Here the, it is the same for every stone hydration. Here you need to do alkalinize urine with citrate which is converted to bicarbonate in the liver, dietary, purine restriction and allopurinol. So remember alkaline urine with citrate, dietary purine restriction because the uric acid uh, formed by purine uh, metabolism it's a nucleic acid so and allopurinol is the treatment of choice for uric acid stones now the fourth type is cysteine is one person due to defect in renal transport of certain amino acid like cola remember cola cola is c for cysteine or ornithine lysine arginine hexagonal crystals so this is positive urinary so here you need to give the same like hydration we have patient needs to be hydrate, hydrated dietary sodium restriction here the same as uh, we compare with uric acid alkalinize the urine and also give penicillamine so let me go to the overview for the treatment hydration 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 for every stone but for calcium oxalate you need to restrict in diet of sodium and purine give thiazide diuretics struvite you can do rem removal um, surgical removal of staghorn stone uric acid and cysteine you need to alkalinize urine so and also remember allopurinol for uric acid and penicillamine for cysteine so here are the views like calcium oxalate crystals images it is like enveloped packed enveloped white is a big crystals uric acid crystals are like this and hexagonal is cysteine crystals I'll give you one second for this uh, image to rememberize enveloped shape is like a coffin so rhomboid kind of thing and it's a uh, hexagonal so struvite is they are huge big struvite stones cysteine are like small or like hexagonal here is ammonium urate you don't really need to remember you need to remember calcium oxalate monohydrate or small silica like this uric acid there are also other kind of kidney stones but I want you to remember all these four types now the treatment hydration and analgesia are the initial treatment kidney stones less than 5 mm in diameter can pass through the urethra stones so 0.5 mm to 3 cm in diameter can be treated with extracorporeal shock wave lithotripsy ESWL we call it percutaneous nephrolithotomy or retrograde urethroscopy so the stone uh, diameter which are small can be treated with ESWL shock wave lithotripsy Preventive measures include hydration and dietary changes. Dietary changes to prevent calcium stones include increased fluid intake, increased calcium intake, decreased dietary protein, oxalate intake, and decreased sodium intake. So what we need to increase, increase calcium intake, decrease dietary protein oxalate intake, and decrease sodium intake. So here is a case scenario. A 30 year old male or man present to the emergency room with acute onset of severe colicky left flank pain here you 
you have a diagnosis nephrolithiasis with radiation of the pain down to the abdomen into the gro groin as i mentioned before uh, the man will be having pain in the groin area he has increased frequency of urination and dysuria physical examination shows tenderness in the costal vertebral angle lipstick is positive for blood sedimental examination shows blood and presence of square crystals that look like the back of an envelope so here they are talking about the calcium calcium oxalate crystals this is like what's that back of an envelope so here is another case scenario a 45 year old caucasian male with history of chronic myeloid leukemia for which he is receiving chemotherapy present to the emergency room with oliguria and colicky left flank pain his serum creatinine is 3 mg per deciliter and his urine ph is 5 you diagnose nephrolithiasis you already have the diagnosis in the question but his kidney stones however are not visible on abdominal x-ray so what did you remember before if the uh, stones are not visible in the x-ray then must be radio lucent u4 uric acid u4 radio lucent his stone is most likely composed of each of the following calcium oxalate calcium phosphate magnesium ammonium phosphate cysteine now not 1 2 3 and 5 it is uric acid crystals very nice next case scenario following passage of calcium phosphate stone a 55 year old male visit his physician to learn about nephrolithiasis prevention which of the following changes affecting urine composition with the bladder are most likely to pro protect against crystal precipitation so as i mentioned before what do we do here do we do increase calcium increase citrate increase oxalate increase free water clearance no definitely definitely don't do this decrease calcium no we just can think about we can decrease calcium but increase citrate we can say increase oxalate no here we are wrong increase free water clearance yes we have to do so here we don't need really need to increase oxalate here the, in the third option decrease we don't decrease it red or decrease calcium increase it red increase oxalate so we don't increase oxalate and we don't really decrease free water clearance so the answer will be decrease calcium increase it red decrease oxalate increase increased free water clearance so Here is the option four. You need to remember for the exam purpose. So thanks for watching. It's my YouTube channel. Please subscribe for more videos. Thank you.